remember yeah. when you were doing the shebang, which mm. was my all-time favourite radio show, the show that made me yeah. want to get into radio. <laughs> I loved it. I remember meeting you. I remember. The, <laughs> oh, seriously, Fifi, I was so starstruck because Sam and I were going to go and teach um, English in Japan and yeah. then he said, I've been offered to produce the shebang and I'm like, we're not going. Cancel the tickets. And then I remember he said, this is Fee and Marty and I was like, Ooh. And I was driving the promotional vehicle. Yes, I was you so were. Nervous. But I remember listening to you then, and you would have been like, you're young. Yeah, mid 20s. Yeah, and hearing you say you just wanted a baby so much, and just you were so mature. You've always been so maternal. And I thought the other day, listening to you all those years talk about it, I'm like, you are now. You're yeah, I know. Young. I know. It's really interesting because I have always been maternal, and I've always loved babies, yeah. and always loved other people's babies. And I get caught up, like I wanted to go work in childcare. So when I was um, at, u at school, what my work experience was at a kindergarten. Yeah, right. And I'd always thought, look, I'll give this, uh, you know, well, my career took a few different turns, but I started off doing performing arts, trying to act, mm. and then acting wasn't necessarily going to happen. So then I did go into radio, and I thought, I'll give this a shot. But look, if none of that works, if the entertainment industry doesn't work, I love working with kids, so yeah, I'd love right. to work in childcare. So for me, I'd always had babies around me and I just took for granted that, of course I'll have babies, I'm gonna yeah. have a baby one day. And I, I think that, and I imagine this does happen to other women, but in my 20s, I was just like, yeah, sure, it'll happen, you know. I'm going through a few relationships and um, that's not worked out, that's not worked out, but yeah, one day it will and I'll um, yeah. have a baby. And it was sort of like in my early 30s, I did start to go, hmm, oh, well, this is interesting. Um, I'm loving my career and I was doing jobs at the time that were really full on. You know, mm. when I was working um, for Channel 7 and Sunrise and I was doing the weather and I was the full-time entertainment um, editor, I was flying overseas a lot, yeah. flying around the country and you suddenly go, how could I incorporate a family into this? Yeah. So I was sort of making decisions in my career that in my, the back of my mind I was thinking, well, if I was looking to, um, you know, and some of my relationships fell by the wayside because I was committing too much to, to career. my career. Mm. Uh, but I've had so many incredible opportunities that in the moment I decided to take them. Yeah. So I didn't necessarily uh, put, the, you know, having a family, well, that wasn't my priority at the time, yeah. my career was. And, you know, and I think like a lot of women that get in, arrive in their 30s and mid 30s and it becomes this, whoa, okay, yeah. that... That might not happen. Because it creeps up, doesn't it? It does. It really creeps yeah. up. And, and I'd sort of prepared myself for that. So for me, it was a case of whatever happens. Um, I've got two nephews that I love to bits, love them mm. so much. Um, and I've got my friends have got babies that I love. And But you needed to be. There was no way <laughs> you couldn't be a mum, you know. Like you're here to be a mum. Well, I thought that. Like that's yeah. what I'd always wanted.